like to show you uh, some ways to improve the jQuery data table performance. So let's get started. So basically I have uh, set up a standard uh, file with a simple table here and uh, I have the T head, then the T foot and here is all of the data. And we want all of this data to be controlled by a jQuery data table. So I have added a simple app file, uh, app.js towards the end. And these are the files you need to do the data table. And if you look at the app.js, it basically says, whenever the document is ready, uh, I want this table to be controlled by data table. So that's all I have. And let me show you that if you do it this way, uh, what kind of page load times you get. So let's just get started and uh, take a look at this one. So here is the, the document which says is a traditional page load. And uh, so let me just uh, reload the page. And as you can see, it's loading the page. And I'm going to show you that it has 2,565 entries. Uh, and the time to load the page was about 1.95 seconds. So basically, uh, this is uh, what I have. And uh, what you can do to improve this is basic. Uh, what happens is that if you first, uh, the way it is done this way, first the DOM is populated with all of these elements and then the jQuery data table takes control of it for pagination and sorting and all of that. So that does take time. So the quick way to improve upon that is to basically, I'll show you another HTML file I've created. Basically this has the head and the foot and that's all we have in the table and we are dynamically going to load the data and uh, I'm going to load it in a file called app ajax.js and if I show you the file there is a very pretty much the same thing. The only difference is I have added this line which says uh, through ajax get this uh, uh, json file which array.json and defer the render to be true. If you look at my array.json file, it has exactly the same data which I had in the previous example and it is structured uh, to be JSON. Basically, uh, you have a key called data and then you have array of objects uh, which are basically all the rows. So that's all I have and uh, this is index index index.ajax.html. So if I go over here and do the same test and uh, this is how you can see the faster page load. If you look at the, uh, quickly take a look, it has the same number of entries and uh, the page load time is only 351 milliseconds. So this is, uh, so the morale of all this test is that every time you want to use jQuery data table, it is almost always better to uh, uh, supply the data either through uh, Ajax or just in the JavaScript and not populate the DOM first and then do this thing. Hopefully you'll find this uh, useful and you can uh, take a look at this and the other information from my website. I'll show you how to do that. Basically, uh, you can search for jQuery here and uh, I will upload this video and other videos so you can take a look. And also I want to show you that you can search for other things uh, for example, if you wanted to search for CSS3 advanced, uh, which is uh, available, you can search for those videos as well. So in a way, you can actually search for all kinds of programming videos on my website. Thank you for taking the time to look at this short screencast.